Hey Shugs, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Um, I wasn't going to do this video because I, quite honestly, <laughs> there are a lot of judgmental people out there and um, yeah, and I have anxiety and you know, but that's okay. So this is going to be part one of my pen stash videos. Um, today I'm going to be highlighting Patriotic Team. And as many of you are aware, Patriotic Team is one of my absolute favorite uh, pen turners. Stephanie makes wonderful pens and is so accommodating. And I can just message her and say, hey, I'm looking for this type of pen, this color. And she absolutely always finds the perfect pen for me. So. Um, and these aren't even all of her pens. This is all I could fit on my desk right now. And I'll pause you all once I go through them and bring out the other ones. So, uh, I first want to start by saying all of us in the diamond painting community, we all like our accessories. And my personal favorite accessory are diamond painting pens. And we all collect something, right? I collect diamond painting pens. Do I use every single pen all the time? No, absolutely not. I mean, there's no way. I've got I've got many pens. I'm in the, you know, three digits. <laughs> so, um, actually, uh, Patriot, excuse me, Patriot team, I think, I think I've got over 100 pens from her um, that I've collected over the last few years. So, anyway, so I'm gonna go through these. If you have any questions about a particular pen, put it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them, um, you know, the best that I can. Um, I don't remember the names of these pens. It, the names don't matter to me. It's just the, the colors and how they feel and the shape and, you know, all of that. So, okay, I've kind of put these in, I just pulled out most of my orange colored pens. Um, but these are basically just, you know, pens with orange and aqua and purple. Um, you know, a lot of these are just random pens that, that I have. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is like a giraffe print pen with aqua. Absolutely love this pen. Um, this is another favorite pen. This is a glitter pen, a black glitter pen. Love it. Uh, let's see. I've got so many. So this is a very thick pen. I remember the name of this one. I'm pretty sure this one's called Ghost. It's clear. You can see through it. It's a very large pen. Um, this one's awesome. This is my aqua and orange glitter pen. Love it. Um, some of these have tips. Some of them do not. I, I've had to swap out a lot of tips. Um, this is, I call this my fairy pen because it's clear with glitter. It's got some pink in it. Uh, yeah, so just lots of different pens here. This one's special. This one is made of actual shark vertebrae. And I bid on this one, um, as a auction for charity for breast cancer awareness. And I actually won it. It's a very special pen to me um, since my mom is a breast cancer survivor. Uh, this is a very thick pen. I think this is one of the first thick pens that Stephanie made. Um, and it's really big. <laughs> it's really thick. Um, this one is a coffee bean pen. And it actually does have a faint scent of coffee to it. Yes. Okay. And then these are my two mini pens that I have from her. This one is called Old Greg. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> uh, old Greg. And then this is just a mini pen with aqua and purple and black. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go over these pens down here because these are ones that I use very often. Um, these are my honeycomb pens. Now, honeycomb is very hard to turn. Um, they're hard to work with. And 
these are just absolutely gorgeous. I love this pink one. It's just, it's so pretty, so bright and colorful. And this one I use very often. It's got a metallic sheen to it. Love it. Okay, so those are my two honeycomb pens. My camera is really not gonna wanna work with me today. Okay, and these are my two seashell pens. These are absolutely, I think Stephanie said, these are the hardest ones to turn just because of the shells and they can chip. But look how gorgeous that is. And they, these are heavy. The shells make them heavy. But they are absolutely just fabulous. That's a blue one. And then this purple one, she turned this one a little bit thinner for me. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if she's still making the seashell pens. Um, if there is a pen that you're interested in, um, you can message her on, I'll have all of her information over on the side on Instagram or on her website. You can contact her um, and ask for, you know, a custom pen. And she does have a custom pen option on her website as well. Okay, now these are all, I can't remember what the names of these are. I want to say these are something clouds, but I'm pretty sure these are all cocoon blanks. Um, and they have that, they all have that pretty swirl of color in them. Oh, yep, there's Zoe. Come here, Zozo. <laughs> she, oh, she is not happy with me today. Um, just really pretty swirls of color. So, yeah, these are all. Um, Cocoon blanks, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then these are my metallic pens. They're metallic color. They're not actually metallic, but um, yeah. So I have a purple, like a, a really pretty, I call it bullet, and then a red one. It's like a, it's almost like a copper. Really pretty. Love these pens. Okay, and then these two are, is it Chola? It's got wood mixed in with them. This one um, has red and green in it. I use this at Christmas time. And then that one is aqua and like a real pretty pearl color. These are lovely pens. Come on camera. I know Zoe. Okay, I call these my snakeskin pens. These are also, um, I forgot what I just said the other ones were, but these are beautiful. They're like, they remind me of snakes. Zoe, <laughs> isn't that pretty? I know, I have a brown one and a blue one. Absolutely love these pens, okay. Oh my gosh, y'all, my camera hates me. Okay, and then these two are color changing pens. Um, they change with heat. Uh, this changes to like a, this one changes to an aqua color where the, where the black is. It's awesome. You've got to hold it for quite a while for it to change, but if you use it for diamond painting, um, it definitely changes color. And then this one is, it's like a blue and yellowish green. And this color here changes to like a sand color. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, these are my Christmas pens. Isn't that pretty? It's like red and green and white. And it's got glitter in it. Christmas pens. It's my other Christmas pen. And then this one is a Christmas pen. Well, it's like, I consider it Christmas. It's got pretty much aqua and orange, but it can, it can look red and green. So there we go. Okay. So <laughs> let it focus. Okay. So I counted these and the number of pens that I have right here are 60 pens. Um, so yeah. So this is 
part of my collection <laughs> from Patriotic Team. Um, let me know in the comments below how many of you have Patriotic Team pens. How many pens do you have? Let me know how many of you are brave to put that in the comments. Um, yes. All right, so I'm going to pause this, put these away, and bring out the rest of my Patriotic Team pens and go from there. So I will be right back. Okay, Zoe wanted to make an appearance. So there's Zozo. Come here, Zoe. Come on. Come on. You can come over here. <laughs> she loves getting on my desk. Right, let me zoom this in for you guys. No, let's not chew on my cord. No, ma'am. Zoe. <laughs> come here, Zozo. All right. Can you get down now? Come on. All right, she got down. Okay, here we go. All right, let me try to zoom in a little bit more. <laughs> Y'all, it's been a day. Actually, that might be too much. Okay, these are the rest of my Patriotic Team pens. I will say I've got more on the way. Yes, okay. So this is a pen. She didn't actually have this blank. I can't remember where I got this blank from, but I sent this blank to her and she actually turned up. Um, and this is a pink and yellow and green pen. And I had this made for my mom and I gave it to my mom and she tried it and she said it was too big for her fingers. She's got small little fingers. So she said this one was too big. So guess it's my pen now. <laughs> All right. This one is absolutely gorgeous. This is a um, like purple and green glitter pen. And just look at the shape. Like I can't tell you how long it takes to do these. I mean, it takes a while. I've watched um, Sean try to make pens down in my basement and doing these little rings. I mean, that takes a lot of time. The process is very lengthy. Um, yes. All right. Whoops. That came out. That's all right. Um, and this is a handmade blank from Stephanie. Um, this is a resin blank that she, you know, cured and then turned herself. It's a beautiful rainbow. It's got blue and pink and green. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. And this is one of my favorite rainbow pens from Stephanie. Uh, it's rainbow glitter. This is an awesome pen to use this month for pride. Yes. Okay. And then this is a aqua and purple. And I like my pens thinner. I don't know why, but I just, they're more comfortable in a thinner shape. And Stephanie knows that, so she does try to make pens for me when I ask for them. Um, she does try to make them thinner for me. All right, let's see. Do it this way. Okay. This one is my beautiful flower pen that she made herself. I'm actually using this one right now on my Summer with the Masters. Isn't that pretty? Zoe, let's not do that. Zoe, no ma'am. No ma'am. She is just full of herself today, you guys. Okay. And then that is an aqua and blue pen. I want to say this one was a cocoon blank as well. I'm not sure. All right. Zoe, what are you eating? I don't know what she's eating. Okay, this is one of my absolute favorite pens um, from Stephanie. I use this one often. Um, I just love the shape of it and all of the colors. It's got a lot of the rings in it. Love this pen. This is another one that's one of my favorites. It's got lighter colors in it. Like more pastel colors. This is 
a purple and aqua pen. Okay, and this was my Josephine wall pen that she made for me. Absolutely gorgeous. Has all the colors that were in my Josephine wall canvas that I did. Uh, Spirit of the Ocean. So pretty. Yes. And then these two pens I'm using um, on my Summer with the Masters. Uh, this was a custom pen. And I know this looks black, and I said this before, it's not. It's like a, a brownish, very dark brown. And then it's got some red, some transparent red in there. And then, of course, the swirls of the white. Beautiful. This one I'm also using with Summer with the Masters, and I love the shape with all of the, the bumps. You know, the bumps. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on, camera. Seriously? Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. And then this one, I've been using this one quite a bit recently, and I have to say, I really like this pen. At first, I didn't like it um, because I wasn't used to the feel of the wood. Now, this is a hybrid pen, so it's part wood, and then the rest of it is... Um, either the resin or acrylic. But the more that I used it, the more I actually really like now the feel of the wood. It's very smooth, um, and it just, it feels really nice. So I'm actually, I used this one last night. So I actually really like this pen. So, all right. So those are my patriotic team pens. Um, I'm going to pause you and I'm going to show you in part one, we're going to do patriotic team as well as butterfly effect wears. Um, so I'm going to show you the pens that I have from butterfly effect wears as well. But I do just want to say thank you to Stephanie with patriotic team for always being so accommodating um, with my requests for pens and just you're an awesome, awesome pen turner and one of my very good friends and I love her dearly. So definitely check out Patriotic Team. Um, again, if you have any questions about Patriotic Team or about her pens, put them in the comments below and I'll, I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Um, but again, I do want to know how many pens all of you lovely shugs have. So, all right, I'm going to clean these up and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. All right. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to make this as not crazy as possible. Okay, so these are the pens that I have from Butterfly Effect Wears, and um, I love their pens. They make fabulous pens, and I'll have all of their information over to the right. And uh, they drop their pens, I want to say, on Saturdays. I think it's on Saturdays in their Etsy shop, so... Um, and they are very hard to come by now. Um, they've become very popular, as they should be. Um, Zoe, she is a hot mess today. She's getting into everything. So, okay, these are my skinnier pens from... All right, look, get out. You, you're getting shut out. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> she wants attention. Okay, these are my skinnier pens. Um, they have different sizes of pens and I think this is their regular pen size so these two here let me do this this way these two here are my Christmas pens this one is a red and gold and white glitter and then and I'm sorry for the background noise someone's doing something outside um, and this one is a uh, green and red sparkle pen. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay. And then this one is um, blue and orange. And I think it's got like some really dark gray in there. Y'all know I love my blue and orange pens. And then this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a beautiful rainbow pen. Yes. 
this. Okay, so those are their regular size diamond painting pens. These are their large size diamond painting pens and they come with uh, one, two, three, four bumps. So this is, I consider this a Halloween pen. It's orange and black. You're gonna hear Zoe, she's mad I locked her out. And then this one is purple and green. And I do like the shapes of these. Um, they're a little thick, but you know, they're still very nice. Look at those colors. I got this one recently. This is, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's purple and aqua and white. That's actually purple, it's not blue. Yes. All right, love this pen. This is um, pink and green. And it actually has some glitter up there in the back of it. Love that pen. And then of course, aqua and green. Love it. This one actually is has a stainless steel tip from Butterfly Effect Wears. They do sell tips. So, yes. Okay. These are, I can't remember the names of these pens either, but these were different shapes and I loved the colors. So it's actually got the three rings in the middle of it. So this one is purple, like dark gray and white. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Same with the blue, blue, gray, and white. And this one also has one of their stainless steel tips on it. Okay, now this one, this is the one that everybody is absolutely going crazy over. This is the Prismatic Pearl. And I tried for weeks and weeks and weeks to get one of these pens and I was not successful until finally I was able to get this one. This was the last one they had on a drop and I absolutely love it. So pretty. All those different swirls of color. And it's a smaller pen, so it's like a it's like a mini pen, but it's very comfortable. So Okay, and the last thing I have from them are blanks. Um, these are, camera, these are unicorn blanks. And they are now starting to sell uh, blanks. So you know at the bottom it says unicorn. They are starting to sell blanks. So I'm hoping, I've asked Sean many times, <laughs> if he can actually get to turning these to gorgeous blanks. So it's got purple and aqua and yellow and green and white. And it's got, they do have glitter in them. I know it's hard to see that, but there is glitter in them. So, yes, 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 yes. So those are, those are my butterfly effect wear pens. Okay, so I only have four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Well, 12 actual butterfly effect wear pens. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 I have another one. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is one my friend Jenny gave me. I almost forgot and I'm glad I had it right here next to me. She gave me this one for my birthday. Isn't that beautiful? It is a rainbow. Uh, translucent pen from Butterfly Effect Wearers. Isn't that pretty? Yes. So thank you, Miss Jenny. Okay, so I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 actual pens, and then two blanks from Butterfly Effect Wearers. So, yay. All right. So, Patriotic Team and Butterfly Effect Wears. I'll have all of their information over on the side for you to check out. And then part two is going to be, oh goodness, Lazy River Wood Turning, um, Gems Handmade Pen Shop, um, Cooper Coast Creations, um, a 
Enablers Outpost. And what other other ones, like one-offs that I have. So um, I will do part two next week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you did. And again, I want to know how many pens you guys have. Seriously. How many pens? How many diamond painting pens? Um, or do you use custom diamond paint pens, excuse me, or do you just use what comes in the kits? Let me know. And if you do use, you know, um, a pen turner's pens, who is your favorite pen turner? Who, which, what's your favorite company? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. No, no judging, no judging you guys. <laughs> Everybody collects something. I collect pens. So no judging. No, no, no. All right. I will see you guys very soon um, on my live on Monday. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye, guys.